Welcome to Aachen. You may not know this city, but it is considered one of the most beautiful and popular university cities in Germany. And today I want to find out what students love about the place and why it's also exciting for tourists. I'll show you the old town with its Roman ruins. A student from India takes me around the famous Aachen Cathedral. And a student from Mexico shows me the pub mile in Aachen. First, I'll show you where we are. Aachen is located in western Germany, about 70 kilometers from Cologne, on the border with Belgium and the Netherlands. The history of the city goes far back. It is one of the oldest cities in Germany. Even the ancient Romans appreciated the hot springs and built thermal baths here 2,000 years ago. In the city center, you can still find ancient ruins. Here you can see what the archaeologists have uncovered. Walls of thermal baths and residential buildings. The Romans weren't just warriors. They were also bon vivants. The springs are still gushing today. For example, at the Elisenboden. Smells like rotten eggs. Blah. That's the hydrogen sulfide in the springs. And he too loved the warm water. This is Emperor Charlemagne, who made Aachen great and famous. He ruled more than 1,200 years ago. And he would certainly be happy that today his city is so popular. Not only among tourists, but also among students from all over the world. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Thailand. India. <laughs> oh, so it's okay. And why do you study in Aachen? Why don't you study in Berlin, in Munich, in Cologne, in some other place? Why is it Aachen? Actually, because the first thing is I am searching for the international course that I can use English. And yeah, I can like spend time with like uh, other national people. Yeah, and also I think Aachen is also very famous with the Aweteha University and yeah, I think it's, it's very famous here. The quality is good, but it's a little langweilig in Aachen. I can't lie. Okay, it's a small city. Do you find the city langweilig? Not very langweilig, but it's a bisschen klein und manchmal fühle ich mich so eingesperrt. It's pretty good here um, because you have um, three countries meeting at one point, Germany, Belgium and Netherlands. And you also have the Aachen cities are um, beautiful. Um, if I'm not wrong, it was the historical center for Emperor Charlemagne. Yeah. So yeah, it's a good place to at least spend at least one or two days. Every fourth inhabitant in Aachen is a student. There are four universities in total, the most important and largest being the Rheinisch-Westfälische Technische Hochschule, or RWTH for short. It was founded in 1870. It is the largest technical university in Germany, with 47,000 students. About 30% come from abroad. The main building is currently being renovated. Here I have an appointment with Priya Pal from India. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm Lucas. I'm Priya. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. You're going to show me around, right? Yes, come on. Priya comes from Kolkata and has been studying in Aachen for two years. She's doing her master's in computer science. What is happening here? So this is known as Ola, or the main auditorium building um, uh, in this building. And this room is used for many different purposes. This also uh, shows films to students at a very cheap price uh, with a student organization called um, Film Studio. And I have also watched a Philharmonic concert here. Okay. I have also came, uh, come here for my exams and lectures. Priya, why do you study in Aachen? Oh, uh, one of the best things about studying in Germany is that it's tuition free. So that definitely uh, is amazing. And second thing is, uh, this, this is a very special program which I didn't find somewhere in India and I wanted to study data science, which is really, which is very amazing here in Germany. Also, Reveteha is, again, it ranks really, really high up the university rankings uh, and none of the universities, most of the universities in, 
India do not rank that high up. So that's the reason I chose Ravi Dehakan. How do you uh, pay for the studies? I know there is no semester fee, right? Yes. There, there is, is a semester fee? There is a semester fee, which is uh, very less. It's around uh, 300 euros. It, but mostly it comprises of our uh, semester ticket, which is our student travel ticket. Yeah, and student, some student contribution. So it's around 300 euros for us. So that's very minimal, actually. But then there is accommodation, mm -hmm. then there is food, then yes. there is drinks, then there is party. <laughs> there is a lot of stuff, right? Yes. I, I, how can you pay for all that? Oh, so uh, I have a job. I work as a working student uh, for, in the post of data science. But then I moved to a higher paying job. Um, working student jobs usually pay higher um, in companies, so that's how I uh, pay all my bills. Was it easy or hard for you to find accommodation? Finding an accommodation is very hard in Aachen. I, uh, when I first received my admit from Revateha, I applied for the student dorm which is much cheaper, and, uh, but it takes more time to find. So then I started looking for uh, private uh, accommodation for the uh, meanwhile. And it took me around uh, one and a half month to find an accommodation from India. I think if you're in Germany, it's easier to find because you can go and visit the places, visit the apartments. But from India, it was really, really hard. I had to write many, many emails. But uh, yeah, I found a place, but it wasn't really convenient because it was really far away from the university. So the travel was a lot. But then after six months, I, uh, found the I got the student dorm, so I moved in the student dorm, which is really great because it's much cheaper and it's much near to the university. So when you came here, your expectations were met, so you thought, okay, Aachen is going to be like this, and you came here and it was like that, or was it totally different? It wasn't totally different, actually. I, a lot of my expectations were met, but some things were different. Like, I did not expect the, the city to be so peaceful and so calm, but, and also filled with so much greenery. It's a perfect student city. You can, when you want peace, you can study, and when you want to hang out with people, there are so many students and people who are from your same different, like, same age group. So you can also meet different people. We make our way into town and pass an inconspicuous gate that every student in Aachen avoids. So this gate has a very famous legend. It's called the Carmen Tour. And, uh, and students are really scared of the gate. Why? The legend says if you cross the gate, you will never graduate. What happens if, you, if I push you? No, no, <laughs> no. <the> gate, <laughs> we will fight. <laughs> yeah, I really want my degree. <laughs> okay, so, so you go around and I go through. Yes, I go around. I don't care. <laughs> That was easy. Now we head to Aachen Cathedral. For Priya, one of the most beautiful buildings in Aachen. A must-see for every visitor of the city. The cathedral is already 1,200 years old. Charlemagne had it built. Something so big and magnificent had not been seen here at that time. Aachen Cathedral was the first German building to be included in the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1978. The entry is free, by the way. One thing I like very much, which is very different from what I've seen in my home country, is the painted ceilings. I think they are beautiful. The way they are painted and their height, everything is just so majestic. And that's one of the best thing about this dorm. Also the uh, glasses, stained yeah. glasses. I love them because I've never seen that in, also in my home country. And on a sunny day, the way it, the light reflects through them is just beautiful. Aachen is a city of short distances. It feels like all the sites are only a few minutes away from each other. For example, these Roman columns. or the imposing town hall, also built by Charlemagne. And this person sells a type of pastry that is only available in Aachen, the Aachener Printen. Really good, really sweet, just perfect for me. And that is the Humboldt House. It is not a tourist attraction, but a contact center for many foreign students. Here I meet Yara Lintermans. She comes from Mexico City, studies environmental technology and works on a voluntary basis at Humboldt House. 
¿Cuáles son las funciones de la representación de los estudiantes internacionales? Lo que hacemos es um, bueno, ayudar a estudiantes que acaban de llegar o también los que están aquí a, a integrarse, los ayudamos con problemas legales que tengan. Eh, básicamente lo que tratamos es ser su primer contacto. O, o ayudarlos, porque luego eh, si no sabes alemán o si tampoco te conoces en la burocracia alemana puede ser difícil encontrar formas, entonces nosotros los ayudamos en eso. ¿Y qué onda con las, con las actividades, con, con, la, con la gente joven en esa ciudad? ¿Qué puede hacer? Eh, pues hay muchas cosas, o sea, tenemos eh, muchas eh, iniciativas estudiantiles. En verano se alegra mucho la situación porque tenemos muchos parques, entonces también la gente se, se reúne en los parques, eh, o sea, los parques más conocidos son el Best Park y el Uzberg. Eh, también tenemos eh, la Punch Trace, que es donde hay muchos bares, también hay un par de discos o antros. <ríe> los llamaría más bien discos porque no son tan grandes, pero... Eh, Sí. Of course I want to see Punchstraße now, the epicenter of Aachen. I'm a bit surprised how small the street is. No comparison to the nightlife areas in Berlin or Cologne. The Punchstraße is rather cozy, but there is plenty of choice. ¿Qué tan frecuente estás acá? Eh, yo sí diría a ver, mínimo una vez a la semana, pero probablemente dos, tres, dependiendo de la semana. Cinco. No, 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 no. Bueno, no. okay. tal vez depende de la semana, ¿sabes? ¿Y qué tal los precios? ¿Es barato o es caro? Aquí es mucho más barato que en otras zonas de la ciudad. O sea, es que también tienes comida de todo el mundo. O sea, tienes eh, duena, tienes eh, chino, asiático, todo. Y, y todo es mucho más barato aquí. Sí. O sea, ¿es internacional también? Internacional y barato. O sea, bueno, okay. bonito y barato. Buena combinación. Buena combinación. Muy sí. bien. Y este es Yara's favorite beer garden. ¿Tú dirías que esta ciudad es una ciudad que podrías recomendar a, a otra gente para estudiar? Pero tiene el tamaño perfecto, porque eh, no es ni muy grande ni muy pequeña. Entonces, o sea, uno puede sentirse o sea, suficientemente libre y hay mucho que hacer y hay suficientes personas y así, pero a la vez no se siente uno muy perdido en la ciudad, ¿sabes? Que siento que también si uno, por ejemplo, como extranjero llega a una ciudad más grande como München o Berlín, uno puede sentirse muy abrumado también si no conoce a gente y así. Y yo creo que Agen es perfecta para conocer a estudiantes o personas muy rápido. Eh, salud por Aquis Gran. Salud por Aquis Gran. As luck would have it, a heavy metal festival is taking place tonight in the middle of the city. The motto, louder than Carl, so louder than Charlemagne. It was organized by RWTH students. In case you're interested, this is the band Burden to Atlas from Aachen. In my opinion, Aachen is a beautiful and livable city. Not only can you see it, but you can also hear it. <laughs> a lot comes together here. The old town, the cathedral, the density of pubs, Aachen's young and international flair. I think it's an attractive place, not only for students, but for visitors from all over the world. Bye-bye, see you next time.